and your thought bursts forth through the layers of your busy consciousness and stretches out before you in the warm daylight. It dances in all the vivid colors of the rainbow. Feelings begin to surface like joy and elation. Your heart begins to beat faster. Goosebumps rise like exclamation points along the rungs of your spine. Something inside of you begins to sing. And this is inspiration, inspiritus. This burst of inspiration is the map. These are the markers, the landing points for us to explore. These blinks or images that bring a song to our hearts are the gatekeepers of our souls here to guide us in the exact direction we have been fumbling around in the dark for. Once inspiration comes and plants within us the seed of growth, it is our duty and life's purpose to follow, no matter how many walls our mind tries to build up against it. As with any new insight or inspiration, it rises and then it falls. It commands all of our cells stand at attention and then it subsides, it calms, it cools. But as most of us do when things cool, we too cool along with it. We must be careful not to let the dragons back in and blow our newly marked path on our maps to dust, for we can't afford to ignore our inspiration any longer. Our time has always been now. Devotion to spirit, devotion to the call, the messages will lead you through the darkest forest to the nectar within. If your inspiration requires you to stretch farther out of your skin than you are used to, please do it. If it requires you to get on a plane and never look back, please do it. If it requires you to sit and learn patience, do it. If it requires you to quit your job or sell your belongings or move across country, buy a boat, walk up to a stranger, write for no reason, cry for no reason, please do it. I can't urge you enough, do it. For it is from following these instructions and remember, these instructions from your deepest self. You will always, without fail, land exactly, perfectly, divinely, where you are needed to land. Now where is the fear in that? 